Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Now, I have just... Oh, no. Oh, no. I may have started this at the wrong time, but... Um, I just jumped into the game because I wanted to play and build a little bit. Try and get some of these done. Um, I had a really good Father's Day weekend. This sounds a little far off. There we go. I had a really good Father's Day weekend. My kids are actually still awake. And I'm trying to do a recording before they're fully in bed and fully asleep and all that stuff. Which I think might be a bad idea because I think they're all going to come in and bug me. But that's okay. I'm probably going to get interrupted. There's sounds. But that's okay. Hello, Super Sero Madam. Uh, today, my plans are to just go and grab some glass windows. I'll grab as many as I can before the place closes. And then uh, we'll go and keep building on to our second floor glass house and hopefully I can start showing you guys what my house my new house looks like uh oh we're just stuck what happened oh there it goes lag was that my lag or was that that may have been Roblox oh my shoulders cut off what why is my shoulder hold on can I turn this way a little bit yeah that's that's a little better oh 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 I completely forgot hold on Like, comment, subscribe, do all those cool thingies. And, uh, yeah, I was supposed to call that at, at the very beginning. In fact, we're, okay, we're only a minute 49 in. The average viewer only stays for, like, five minutes. So if I can get that, uh, that subscribe in within the first five minutes, I should get your attention earlier. If this is one of your first videos that you've ever seen of me, or this is your first time ever meeting me, hello, hello, hello. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome to my channel. Uh, yes, it is a gaming channel. I list it as gaming, but it's more, more or less a vlog of me just talking about the weekend. We got to go, or about my day, we got to go up to um, the mountains, <clears throat> and we got to ride around on ATVs and four-wheelers and hang out with friends and family and just, just relax. The whole, the whole weekend was amazing. I just realized something. This little piece right here, look, that's the only piece that's like pink and it's got this texture. No other pink texture is like that anywhere. Oh no, I may have gotten here too late. I may have waited till the wrong time to start the recording. That's my bad. Um, if Corey closes before we get too many, then I'm gonna have to go find something else to do. We might, oh, what happened there? Find something, put it on the counter. I did, Corey. Come on out of there. Come out of there. What are you doing? Crazy. Yes, I want to purchase this. Oh, I hear that in the background. It sounds like rain. It's not. It's my son taking a shower. Oh, seriously, son. <clears throat> I tell you what, it is getting to the point, like with my kids being older and not going to bed until super late, that... I'm like, you know what, guys? I can't, I can't sit here on the couch not doing anything for two hours waiting for you to get finished to go to bed. So, you know what? If you're late getting to bed and you're tired the next day, that's going to be your fault. That's on you. You guys are old enough now that if you stay up, if you don't get in the bath, if you take 30 minutes in the bathroom because you're trying to poop or whatever, whatever the case may be, that's going to be on you. And I know that I'm your parent and I'm supposed to be pushing you along and stuff like that. But you know what? I can't wait on you like that. <gasps> no, did I get it? I think I got it just in time. Okay. Okay. We might, we might be able to open this up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out. Out. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. Okay. Oh, we got it. Just barely, but we got it. So we got four panes, four glass panes. That's really not too much to do much building. Oh, don't you hate that? Don't you hate when you make a plan and it just doesn't work out? <sighs> anyway, to uh, the majority of my subscribers who are going through your teen years, all right, it's going to be hard from like the ages 13 to 15 and a half because at that point, you're not grown, you're not an adult, and you don't get to drive yet. 
all right? So you're going to have to make the best out of life. And I know that you're just so tired of waiting and you're so grown up and you think that you know everything. And for those of you who are in the comments right now, like, Code, I do know everything. Calm down. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just saying, like, what was that? Ah. And what I'm saying is take the time to enjoy your youthfulness, your, your time as a teenager, because we, we say, oh, well, you're going to have to grow up and have responsibilities. Responsibilities means you're going to have to spend money. Like, I don't think my daughter realized it until today. And I'm like, you know, we always say you're going to have to grow up. And she's like, yeah, and be responsible and have responsibilities. I'm like, yeah, but you know what that means, right? When you get a car, it's not just you bought a car and that's it. It's now you have to pay for insurance monthly. And it's stuff that, that schools aren't going to teach you until like high school and stuff like that. But it is a monthly bill of making sure that you have insurance on your car. It's a month. It's a weekly bill to make sure your car has gas. You're going to have to pay for maintenance. And these are not little bills. These are not like five, ten dollars. These are thirty, sixty $90, depending on what kind of gas you get and depending on what kind of insurance you have. It's a lot. What's going on with the outline of my face? That's weird. <clears throat> it's kind of cool looking though. Not gonna lie. It's like I have an aura around me. Like a, like a force field. Glorious. Anyhow. That's what I'm ch talking about when I say responsibilities. I don't mean that it's going to be all all work, no play. When you grow up, it's responsibilities. And it's stuff that a lot of teachers, a lot of schools don't talk about. You know, they're going to teach you how to calculate pi and they're going to teach you the dates of history and stuff like that. But they're not going to teach you how to balance a checkbook. I'm not going to tell you about how accounts work, stuff like that. And it's all adult stuff that we don't think that you need to know yet. But I also think that gives you an advantage when it comes to asking for things to buy because you don't understand budgeting. You don't understand what it takes to run a household with money. It's a lot, which I didn't know. I had no clue. You know, my mom gave me a checkbook whenever I was in high school and said, here, just take a check and write write out your own uh, your own lunch money. Write out the what you need for gas. And it wasn't until I'd gone back later, like years later, and looked at like some of the bank statements where I had signed the checks, Heath Haskins, and so you're going, jeez, I spent a lot of money with the checkbook. My idea was like, hey, I I still have checks. There must be money in there. <laughs> That's not how a check works. So thank you, mom and dad for trusting me with, with that. But I honestly, I didn't know I'd gotten uh, one talking about uh, spending money on like snacks and, and candy bars and stuff like that for my friends whenever we took like a road trip. But even then, like taking a road trip, I didn't need to go all the way out to to Joplin, Missouri to go to the skate park out there. We had skate parks in town, you know? I don't know. Talking about random things. That That's my channel, so. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> if you do get like a weekly, monthly, hourly an allowance, whatever that case may be, or job-based allowances, be sure to understand what the value of your money is because that allowance is a wonderful thing. You, you're told, Hey, you're going to get $20. You get $20. When you get your first job, what you're not going to understand is taxes and what taxes mean. Yeah. You might be getting $18 an hour at whatever job you've got, but guess what? 15 of that's going to be taxes. You're not going to get near as much money as you think you are. And that's sad. It's sad that the taxes are used that much. 
it, it becomes almost a disappointment. Oh, oh, I know what these are. These are golden toilets. We need golden toilets up there so I can take my golden poops on top of the, the roof. Golden toilet. How do, oh wait, I can't sit on it like, oh, I can't sit on it like that. Sideways poops. See, there it goes again. Code, you were being so serious there for a second and, and making good judgment calls on how to uh, help the youths of the YouTubes with their, their daily lives. And then you messed it up with golden poops. <laughs> I don't think I messed it up. I think it's a good, good thing to take a break and laugh. Uh, I am gonna open these up. I know that you you guys are like, oh, don't open the boxes, don't open the box. I'm totally opening the boxes. I'm not leaving any of these to chance. Um, I know that the value of them is higher, but... Oh, backpack is full. But, hold on, where? Okay. These are specialty axes, right? Do I have any rookies in there? I think they're just manis. That's a rookie. There's a manny. That's a chicken. That's a beta. We got we got a room for betas. Hold on. Where's where's six? Six. There we go. In times, in times. And I think we have one for amber, don't we? Wasn't there a spot for are these amber axes? Yeah. And that's another end times. Oh, there's a Manny. And the last one, end times. So, I saw rookies over here somewhere. Yeah, that's rookie. And then six end times. I think my end times cabinet is full. Yeah, I might need to to build up these sides here. In fact, we should we should probably do that. <clears throat> Hold on, let's move this out the side there. Move this right up here. Come on, come on. There we go. Whoa, what? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. It's fine. It's cool. <laughs> Large floor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, why are you not? Are you too close? Look out, look out. Oh, oh, that's not right. Oh, come on, come on. Right, ah, there, there. Got it, why is there a little bitty gap right there? That's, that's crazy. I don't know why there's a gap. Code. Why is there a gap? I don't know. Don't comment about it. Do not put in the comments code. What's wrong with the the walls? And the walls keep crumbling, tum, tumbling, tum, crumbling, tumbling. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Why are you not going in there? There's got to be a reason. Now it'll go in. Yeah. Good stuff. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more. Put you over there. Come on. Nope. Get up, up, up. Up, up, and away, pig. Where's it? Up, up, and away. Web. It might be web. To Toby? Is it Toby? Who played in the this first Super or Spider Man? Who was that? I don't, I don't remember his name. I th thought it was like Toby Maguire or something like that. It, it may be somebody else. I don't have my phone on me. No. It was getting low. I had to go charge it. Oh, wait. No, I do. I do have my phone. <clears throat> okay, Google. Okay, okay, Google. Okay, Google. Who played the role of Spider Man? Kirsten Dunst, J.K. Simmons, Alfred Molina. 
Okay. What? No, who? The Amazing Spider-Man. Doesn't even show the main role. What? Okay, Google. Who plays Spider-Man? It's just spinning. It's like, I don't know. You know what? It's not that important. It was just a quote, and now it's gone. It's code. You're spending way too much time worrying about a quote from a movie that's, like, long ago. It was a good movie, though. I mean, I still like Spider-Man. Both Insta Spider-Man or anything. Okay. So, six. Seven. That's six. I did seven and nine. There we go. We'll just fill that thing up. Good, good. I am so dumb. Why? Why am I so dumb? I mean, look, the sun's up. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, 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 out. There's eyeballs way over there, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to get this stuff out, 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 out. You know what? This is taking way too long. Come on. Out, 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 get out, get out of the truck, get out of the truck, get out of the truck. Uh oh, am I stuck? Yes, yes, glorious snowball. Get back on the base. Uh. Now, doesn't the snowball melt inside the volcano? I can't remember. I thought, I thought that was a thing. If you take a snowball up to the, uh, the volcano and toss it in, it should melt. Okay, let's go buy, buy more glass. That's the whole point of the episode. I wanted to go buy a bunch of glass and, and complete our second level of awesome. It's cool how you can like see the glass better at certain angles. You know? Just saying. Ooh. Summertime. Oh no, it's summer breeze. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. Rolling through the lumber in my mind. Hmm? What? What'd you say? Nothing. Steven. Oh, come on. Defaultio, when, when are you going to throw an update in this thing? Seriously. When are we going to get race cars? Can we get race cars? I know a lot of people have saying, Code, go play Lumber Remastered. Here's the thing. Lumber Remastered comes from some of the original scripting and code, which was stolen from Lumber. Any of those remake games, I don't endorse. I, don't, I do not encourage stealing of code stealing of other people's things in defaultios even come out and said yeah it's pretty much public knowledge now but guess what this is his game this is the game that i follow that i love this is the one that should be making the money you know should be getting the views and i will continue i will forever be a lumber personnel even though there's been many a times i've questioned whether or not i should continue it because there's been a lot of people who are code I can't believe after seven years you're still playing lumber. I am, and I still I still enjoy lumber, even though I'm, I'm like not playing with anyone. I still enjoy coming in here, building, relaxing, getting away from the day, coming in and just chilling out, having fun. You know, this is something I absolutely could come in here and just do on my own. And if I wanted to play or experiment with uh, the logic and putting stuff together, I could. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll get on this hyper focus of circuits and electronics and doing things. And it's really nice to come in here and know that I have like an entire breadboard of electronics to play with and switches or switches. Coming up with an XOR switch. 
the, you guys know what an X or switch is. <clears throat> so it's where an and switch would be for two inputs. One and one would equal one, whereas one and zero would equal zero. Zero and one would equal zero. Zero, zero would equal zero. It only means if input one and input two are both true, then input the output is true. An or switch is where input one is true or input two is true, then the output is true. An X or switch means if input one and two are zero, output is true. If input one and two are true, output is uh, false. But if input one or input two is like, it's gotta be the opposites. If one's true, the other has to be false. That's an XOR switch. And then if you put not switches in front of it or a not switch on the output, then you have an in XOR switch, which is a not XOR switch, which is the opposite outputs of the inputs that you put in. Never mind. I'm getting I'm getting hyper focused on it. Who cares code? Well, some people care. I mean, I really wish that the the Lynx Logic sh short the Lynx Logic store was closer. But at the same time, if I really wanted a bunch of logic and stuff, I'd, I'd take an hour to just go and grab a bunch and hope that Hoover doesn't toss me off his ferry. <sighs> what time we got? 22 minutes. 22 minutes and counting. And all we did was a little bit of base cleanup and grab some glass. I'll keep going with like, maybe, never mind. I'll go with uh, one or two more. Actually, I'm gonna make this the last one. We're gonna go try and put these up before uh, the end of the episode. Oh, there we go. I think I'm good. Corey, yes sir. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you being here all the time and just, just having a wonderful, wonderful shop. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Bye, Code. Bye, Corey. All right, let's go. Wee. Oh, I should probably close that. All right, here we go. Off we go into the wild blue lumber. Don't chop trees. Hello. Recording. Recording. Steven, guard the door. Guard, no, guard the door. Make sure they don't come in. Yes. Yes. Are you trying to be funny with the knock knock thing? Thank you, John old John Campazio. Why why was that like it was like dark but not I couldn't see it for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I'm going to have to do one side then the other, aren't I? I thought this was going to go a little bit slower, but apparently not. Just going to do build like crazy and it's going to be fine. <laughs> This is taking about as long as the uh, the ice floor did. Hi, Stephen, get him. Yes. Come and shut the door. Well, this is what I get for trying to record before the kids are actually in bed. And I'm I'm going to blame you, kids. I'm going to blame my Hi. kids. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, who <Ooh>, you? <laughs> He's 
Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, I, I below, do too. all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But I gotta go put some kids to bed. It's time. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Say outro for me. <coughs> oh, wait. Before we go, don't forget to... Ice cream. No. Don't forget to... That pretty cool? Okay. But at the same time, to stop and oh, start. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. And do our stuff. Ready? You want to see it again? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, boo. <laughs> no. Boo. No. All right. Just like. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you real soon. And today's video is sponsored by my dad. And today's video is brought to you by <laughs> Legendary Raids. Raid Legendary blah blah blah. No, it's... NordVPN. <laughs> yes. By, by Honey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is no sponsorships. Nobody's ever sponsored me. You know, if I could find a co coffee company or somebody to sponsor me, that'd be Sponsored awesome. Sponsored you. Spo Let's get a coffee sponsor. Uh, um, big, big caffeine sponsorships of some kind. Doesn't Jack Septic do that or something? Top of the morning coffee. No. See, <laughs> top of the morning coffee. Come sponsor me. <laughs> Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. 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 Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.